Welcome to Learn Yourself. Theorem statement is an exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of its interior opposite angles. So here we are talking about exterior angle that is this. This complete exterior angle we are talking about and this exterior angles measure will be equal to the sum of these two angles that is angle 1 and angle 2 when we will add angle 1 plus angle 2 when we will add we will get this complete angle that is angle A, C and D. So we are talking about this angle this exterior angle which comprise of x and y so let us understand what has been given to us consider triangle abc so we are talking about this triangle triangle abc and acd is an exterior angle as i have shown you here that acd complete is an exterior angle now what we have to show is measure of angle acd so that is exterior angle will be equal to measure of angle A and measure of angle B. So measure of angle A is angle 1 and measure of angle B is angle 2. So this will be equal to angle 1 and angle 2. So here we are going to prove that angle X equals to angle 1 and angle Y equals to angle 2. This we are going to prove based on the angle properties that corresponding angles and alternate angles so now let us start our justification in this figure if we will concentrate on this line segment ab ac and ce so here we are talking about three line segments that ab ac and ab and ce if we will take line segment AB and line segment CE, then we can see that AC here is a transversal. If we are making AC here is a transversal and AB is parallel to CE, then angle 1 and angle X, they both will become alternate angle and that's why they are equal. So what we are going to prove here that is angle 1 is angle equals to angle X. Now, why is it so? Because if BA is parallel to CE, our AC is transversal. And therefore, alternate angle should be equal. As you can see here, if I'll draw a rough diagram over here, it will be something like this. So, this angle and this angle will be alternate angle if we will extend this two line and this will be our transversal. So, as you can see, these two are alternate angles and that's why they should be equal now let us going towards our second point in which we are going to prove that angle 2 is going to equal to angle y now why is it so so here also we are going to take two line segment that is a b and c e but transversal this time we are taking is b d so this is going to be our transversal and because of that we will have a two angles that is angle 2 and angle y these two angles will be corresponding angles and that's why they are equal so in this case if we will see these two are the parallel lines and here our transversal is there this is our transversal and if we will extend this two line like this then these two angles we are talking about so as you can see these two are corresponding angles so that's why they should be equal so reason we are going to write here is we are going to write two parallel line segment as above that BA and CE are parallel lines and here only thing will change that is our transversal. What is our transversal here? Here our transversal is BD. So BD is a transversal and reason here we are denoting is corresponding angle should be equal. Now when we will add this two angle that by adding angle 1 and 2. Now what all are this angle 1 and 2? As we can see in this figure that angle 1 is angle BAC and angle 2 is ABC. When we are adding them, so here I am going to write measure of angle BAC plus measure of angle ABC. Now these angles are angle 1 
and angle 2. Now angle 1 and 2, they are equals to angle X and Y. So that's why I am writing X at the place of 1 and Y at the place of 2. But what are the X and Y? X and Y are the exterior angles. When we are adding these two angles, when we are adding these two angles, it will give us a complete exterior angle. That is angle A, C, D. X plus Y is our complete exterior angle. So that is equals to measure of angle A, C and D. And hence it is proved. So thank you for watching and learning with us. If you have any doubt, please comment down below. I'll see you in next video. Till then, keep learning, keep sharing. And don't forget to subscribe, learn yourself.